Hey, welcome back to Bob's Two Car Garage. Now, my friend Ken and I found this lathe, and we think that we can make it work. We think we have all the parts, but we're not really sure, so wish us luck. We're going to try to put this lathe back together. Hi, my name is Bob, and I love my two car garage. So the first thing we're going to do is we made a base for it right here and uh, we looked at some pictures on the internet and we have a pretty good idea how this thing's supposed to stand up. So we made a base out of wood. Most of the bases are made out of, they have metal legs, but we're just going to make it out of wood. We think it's going to work great. We're going to cut our legs out of two by sixes and we want the tool rest on the lathe to be at 41 inches. Actually, it should be at the height of your elbows. And for me and Ken, that's 41 inches. Cutting a 10 degree angle on both these legs. All right, so what we decided to do here is we put a two by four rail along the bottom, and then we did a two by four brace across the bottom of the two legs, and I think it's gonna hold things together nicely. We need to have enough room down in here for our belts to drop down through for our drive mechanism, but I think it's going together well. And all we gotta do is we're putting everything together just with uh, real big wood screws. All right, so here's our final solution on our stand for our wood lathe. Got two by six legs that are cut at a 10 degree angle, and they're just high enough to put the spindle of the lathe at 41 inches, which works perfectly for us. Got a gusset on the end here, holding it together at the top. That's three quarter inch plywood. Got a two by four on the bottom that's bracing it. On top of that two by four, we got a three quarter inch piece of plywood that we're gonna mount our motor to. And we got an inch and a quarter top. And this is just three quarter and half inch uh, plywood laminated together. Gonna make us a nice sturdy top. And before I go any further, I'm gonna sand this guy down and put some good oil-based polyurethane on. These old Williams and Sonoma aprons work great for doing finishing in. Might look a little bit sissy, but they sure do work well. On one end of this top, I need to cut a hole right there so the pulleys can drop down from my headstock to my motor. And now we're ready to screw this down. So I'm gonna use some two and a half inch screws to attach the top to the base. Well, I'm ready to bolt this down. I like to bolt it down with some bolts and nuts and washers, but the, uh, the framing's gonna get in the way. So I'm gonna do use some three inch lag screws. I'm gonna use six of them to bolt my lathe down to my brand new table. And I'm gonna mount the back side of this lathe, the, the headstock, right up flush with the end so that if possible, we could do some outboard turning. It's not something that's done a lot, but it is nice to have that possibility. So I had to figure out what size belt I needed. And I was pretty proud of myself because I used my old high school math skills to figure the the uh, circumference of the pulleys and all that stuff ended up with a 67 inch belt that's gonna drive this thing from the motor that's down below and uh, you have to pretty much take this whole thing apart to get the belt in so you want to use good quality belt because you don't want to be changing this thing too many times as you can see it's quite a process to get this uh, live center or this headstock apart so that you can replace the belt. Anyhow, got my new belt. 
gonna install it and then I'm gonna mount my motor down below. Rather than mount my motor directly to the stand that I made, I cut a piece of plywood and I'm gonna mount the motor first to that piece of plywood and then I'm gonna mount that piece of plywood or that plate onto the stand that I made. It's gonna give me a little more flexibility as to how I can move that around and align it just right. Also, I need a little bit of height because the belt's a little short, so that's gonna make up for that. It's getting exciting because it's almost ready to go. All right, well, I saw, kind of saw this one coming. Right down here, I had to add some spacers, half inch spacers, to get that motor just the right height. The height was kind of dependent on the belt that I had, and uh, so I did that to get just the right tension and just the right height on the, that motor. I'm gonna start off by just screwing this down to the table, see what happens. I think it's gonna be enough. If not, I can come back later and put in some bolts. I also like to point out that I spent some time making sure that my belt, this pulley right here, was lined up with that pulley up above in the headstock. If it's off center, it would probably stay on, but it's gonna wear out, it's gonna vibrate. So I spent lots of time making sure that that was lined up nice and straight. And I'm gonna mount my switch right there. Should probably do a plate out of wood or something, but I'm getting excited. So I just wanna get this on here. I wanna turn this thing on. <laughs> All right, I want you to know this is totally unrehearsed. I've never done this before. I never turned this on before. It's all plugged in and ready to go. I'm gonna flip the switch and hopefully it's gonna work. If I messed up, things could fly everywhere. Here we go. <laughs> it's alive. Watch this, this is exciting. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? Now all I need is an expert wood turner to do a really cool demonstration for us. So I brought my friend Ollie in, back there in the back, and he's doing the very first turn on our new lay setup. Looking good. We got a little wobble to it, but I think we can live for it with it for now. All right, that's how we did it. We've got this guy back together and it works great. I want to leave you with this proverb that says, two are better than one because they have a good return for their labor. So if you got a project going on, it's always a good idea to get somebody to help you out. It's a lot more fun. And if there's any pain involved, cuts it in half. That's a good thing. Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs>